everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. Today we're going to do a Killstar haul. It's been a while since my last one but I've been getting stuff from them every now and then so I have quite a few things to show you today. I hope you're in the mood for this because it's going to be a little bit long but I hope it doesn't get too boring and you like the things I picked for this video. So the first dress is this one. I really really like it and it looks like this in real life. So let's try it on and I'll be right back. This is quite a basic satin and lace slip dress but I've got to say it's quickly become one of my favorite kill style dresses and dresses in general because I have a thing for dresses that look like this and this one is almost floor length on me so it adds a little bit of a twist to every other slip dress that I own and I love it. Whenever I go out, which doesn't happen too often, I usually go for either bodycon dresses or slip dresses like this one. So I think this is something I'm going to use quite a lot whenever I have the chance to go out. The straps are adjustable and elastic, so they're not going to pose any problem. And the fabric has some slight stretch to it. I'm not sure if you can really tell. It's very little, but it makes it not as uncomfortable as other satin dresses. I went with an extra small as usual with Killstar because I tend to think their sizes run a little bit big. I know it's not the case with everything. So for example this dress fits me perfectly but the dress I was wearing before is quite big on me and they're both a size XS from Killstar. I think in that sense they could improve their sizing a little bit because it's not super consistent. Since I've noticed that an extra small is either perfect for me or a little bit big. I always stick to that size because it's the smallest they have. All in all, I'm gonna give this dress a 10 out of 10 because it is very comfortable, it is true to size, I love the design and I think it's perfect. So it's a 10 for me. This time I got some accessories because I didn't have so many from them and I wanted to try them out and see what they looked like in real life. So I picked these sunglasses. These are the Badenai sunglasses and they are in the glitter version. I have noticed that they don't have so many available on the European website so these were the only ones that more or less I thought would match my face shape. So here they are, I think they're really pretty. They have a tiny pad in here and although I would have probably gone with the non-glitter version if it had been available, I am not unhappy with these ones. And I think it's a really really cute touch. The glitter is more or less gold. I'm just letting you know in case that's not your thing. But I think they're really cool. I'm not sure if they're very clean right now because I think I had foundation on my fingers when I touched them. So please ignore that. They're very comfortable and in my opinion quite flattering. They also have the Killstar brand on the back. By the way, in case you're wondering how they ship them, because I think that's quite important. They came in this cardboard box. And then inside this uh, glass case. I love these sunglasses but taking price and everything into account I think I'm gonna go with a 9. I don't think I can go higher than that because they're quite pricey. Moving on we have my favorite thing for holes and it's these heels. You know I love shoes. So these are the Priscilla platforms and I have them here. I love the boxes. Black boxes are my favorite thing and I wish I had enough space to leave them in my room because I've seen people do that and it's really pretty. Let's open them and let me show you. Here they are, they are gorgeous, they are patterned, and the design is super pretty. I'm a big fan of the super chunky platforms. They're more like heels, but they feel like platforms. Because the last time we talked about Killstar shoes, I wasn't sure what size I should go for. Now, let me tell you, I found my perfect size. This time I went with a UK5, US7, and European 38, and they fit perfectly. I'm usually a US8. For the Monia Doll Skill Pleaser and Ellie shoes, but for Killstar and La Moda, I'm a US7. So bear that in mind when you're ordering because that seemed to work for me. These shoes are a perfect fit, and in terms of the shoe design, the sole, and all that, they're really comfortable. But let me tell you something because I think it's quite important. This bow here is not the most comfortable thing, the strap in here goes too high. It's unfortunately not the most comfortable thing ever. I think it hurts my legs in this part. I know this is something you can avoid by wearing thick socks or something like that, but I wanted to let you know in case you want to get them 
and they don't really think about that. I don't think they're the most comfortable if you're planning to wear them without socks or with fishnets. I also think if you place a tiny insert at the end of the shoe and your leg goes a little higher, you will avoid that problem. In any case, you can always use a band-aid to protect that part of your feet so it won't hurt you. Other than that, I am in love with the shoes. I think it's a pity that they have that problem because the sole is really big and really chunky and they're very, very comfortable. The quality seems to be really great. Again, I've only used them to be at home, to take photos and to go to the garden. So I'm not really sure how they're gonna hold up after years. But so far, the quality seems to be good. The shoes well constructed and the materials feel really great. So that's all I can tell you for now, but if anything comes up, I'll make sure to write a comment and pin it so I can let you know. Unfortunately, I'm gonna go with the 7 because although I love them, they have that tiny problem and although it's easy to fix, I don't think something so pricey should have a problem like that. So for me, they're a 7. This time, I also got something from their home section and it's something I want to have for a very long time. It is this, which is the Never Trust the Live-In Cold Brew Cup. And it came in this box so don't worry because it's not gonna get damaged during transit this is one of my main concerns sometimes when I order things so they pack their stuff really carefully and here it is they are quite big so I think this one is even bigger because it has this kind of cupcake like design but I really like it and I think it's pretty cute the design is matte black which is really really pretty and it comes with this black plastic straw. Now let's open this. And I'm not sure if you can see anything, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And this is the top. You can, of course, remove the straw. Then you just twist it and put it back in place. I think it's really cute. The quality looks really, really good. And I'm using it as decor because I don't trust myself with things like that. I always think I'm gonna damage them and since it's so pretty, I'd much rather keep it in my room because it looks really good. Now one thing to keep in mind, although I know this is listed on their website, you cannot use it in the microwave and you can only use it with cold drinks. So what should we rate this baby? I think I'm going with a 10 because it's kind of pricey but not too much considering the design, how beautiful it is and I don't know, it feels good. So. I'm really happy with it and I'm gonna give it a 10. Going back to accessories, I got this harness. I seem to remember it was called Madame Miao and I have it here. Now one thing about Killstar chokers, harnesses, belts is that the quality is really, really good. It's completely different from the things you would get from AliExpress or Shein or you know, all those sites and I think it's really, really worth the price. Now my problem, and I have a big problem with this one, is that their sizes are not it. So let me try this on and I'll show you. Hopefully you can see what I mean now that I'm wearing it. I got this one in a size XSM and I seem to remember they have a bigger size and then a plus size version. I'm not completely sure but I know they have bigger sizes for this one. So I was really disappointed because I thought it's an XS and the underbust measurement quite fit me. But the problem is that it's so long, it's for someone that's really, really tall and it doesn't fit me at all. I cannot make it suit my body even if I wanted to. You know, I would have to have either gigantic boobs, which I sadly don't have, or I would have to be super, super tall to be able to fill this. And it looks kind of weird because, you know, this part should end here and then the strap in here, let me show you. It would be perfect in terms of size in the smallest one but since it's so long it falls on my waist and then it's this big i know i can easily fix it if i make an extra hole in here but even if i did this part is just too low so in that sense i am quite disappointed because i had high hopes for this one i love the design i think it's really original i love that it has this cat themed and I have used it. I used it for my Halloween costume, but it doesn't suit my body at all. I really hope this doesn't bother you because I'm gonna keep it on and I hope I don't regret it afterwards when I'm editing the video. Anyway, I got this mask, which suits the harness perfectly. And I have it here. I think it was called Hungry For You or something like that. 
Excuse me, but I've forgotten the names for almost everything, but I'll write them down. So let's put this on and I hope I don't ruin the wig. Last time I wore this, I did it with my real hair, so I think it looked much better and this design doesn't really suit things that well. But this is what it looks like on. I think it looks really cute with the harness if the harness was my size, but even if, I think it's a really good combination. And I'm honestly super happy with this. I really like this mask. I think it's not only very beautiful, but really well done. It's adjustable at the back with this elastic. And you know, you can adjust it here as well. I left it quite open because I am wearing a wig, so my hand is quite big right now. But it has a lot of room to alter it. It came really well packaged, so nothing was damaged during transit. And the ears are just perfect. They're not bent or anything. Now my only, it's not really a problem, but it's something I don't really like is that each stud, they're not covered on the inside, so your hair can get tangled on them really easily. I don't think it's such a problem, but you have to be a little bit careful when you take it off if you don't want to mess your hair <laughs> completely. I really wish this was my size because I love how it looks together. So I think for the harness, I'm going to go with a 5 because I'm really pissed that older belts and harnesses are extremely big and not really suitable for a size success and I'm gonna give the mask a 10 because I'm in love with it. Something I forgot is that when you take it off you will have a mark here on your nails since the old ring falls right here. Just keep that in mind if you're wearing it and you wanna remove it later on you will have a mark here. Anyway, let's go back to clothes because I have yet another dress for you and it is this one. And I have it here. It is the Haunted Maiden dress and I also got it in a size extra small. This is what the dress looks like on me and I think I have mixed feelings about this one. On the one hand, I think it's gorgeous. I think the design is really, really beautiful. I love the long mesh sleeves, but not extremely long like most of their designs that I feel are not the most comfortable or useful in real life. And then it has this lace detail. It is really, really gorgeous. I adore it. It feels really good. The fabric is super nice. It has two layers. It has this mesh one and then a black cotton one. And I cannot stress this enough. I think it's really beautiful. Now the bad part is that I don't think it necessarily suits my body type. This is not a problem with the dress. This is not any kind of criticism. I just think it's not something that flatters me necessarily. Maybe if it was a bit shorter, maybe if it was a bit tighter in here. I don't know. I think the dress overpowers me a little bit because I'm very short. I'm 5'3 or 159 in centimeters. But again, that's more like a personal opinion and how it suits my personal body type than something about the dress. I've seen it on other people and I think it looks stunning. But as much as I love the previous one, I don't feel the same way about this and I'm not sure if it's a size problem because this one is a little bigger. Perhaps this part in here should be a little bit more fitted. You can see the extra fabric in here. I'm not really sure if this is meant to be super tight here on the under bust part. But if it is, it's too big for me. Everything else, I don't know, it, I feel like the dress overpowers me and it's not the best for me. But I don't think I can give it less than a 9 because this is something purely subjective that isn't the dress's fault. It's just that I don't feel so good in it, although I love the design. Moving on to something I did actually like a lot, I got this creature. It is the second one I have and I just love the design when it was released. It really, really caught my eye and I finally got it. And it comes in this bag, although I have it in my room already, but I wanted to show you just in case you were curious. And I have the little one here. Super cute and adorable. It is the uh, Grim Reaper by the pink version. And I think it suits my room pretty well since it's black and pink. The fabric of the dress is super soft. And you can remove the hood, by the way. And this is what it looks like without it. And I also love that the size is kind of shiny. And then it has this octopus design on the bottom. It's not super stable, like if I leave it in my hand, it stands like this. But if I leave it somewhere, I have to balance it a little bit so it doesn't fall. But other than that, I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it's really cute. 
The quality of their Cryptos is always really, really nice. They're really nice plushies. I know they're a little bit expensive. I seem to remember this one was a limited edition and there weren't so many of them, although it wasn't like one of those external limited releases. But there weren't so many, so if you like it, maybe go check it out because I'm not sure if there are any left. I'm really happy with it. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about it, so I'm probably gonna give it a 9 because I still think that their plushies are a little bit overpriced. I know there's a lot of hype around them, so a 9 it is, although if it wasn't so, so pricey, I would go with a 10 because it's really perfect. And now to finish this haul, I want to show you something that I know you've seen here before because I included it in my handbag collection. It is this skull handbag, I think it was called Grave Digger, and I have it here. By the way, if you're curious about my handbag collection, I will leave the link somewhere in here so you can check it out if you haven't already. But I'm going to show you this one here, although I've already talked about it, but I never included it in a Killstar haul. It is perfect. It's so beautiful. The construction of this handbag is stunning. It opens with a zipper in here. And I keep the stuff in because it's really, really hard. Something tells me it's not going to lose its shape easily, even if you take that out. But since I'm not using it right now, I think I'd rather be safe than sorry. And it doesn't bother me because I'm just keeping it in my room. Now, I hope you can see it well. It's super detailed. It's really, really cool. It comes with this long strap and a shorter one that I keep inside. I'm not sure if I should open it to show you. It's just a short strap so you can just grab it with your hand instead of hang it on your shoulder. And then the zipper has the kill star branding in here. Everything looks amazing. It has this tassel here as well. The quality is, as usual with kill star handbags, really good. I've heard some people say that some of their handbags are not super long lasting. And I cannot really tell because, you know, everyone gives things a different use. But some of them, I've used them quite a few times and they're still like new. But I can understand if you fill your handbag a lot or you use it on a daily basis, it's going to get damaged pretty easily. But I think anything that's made of synthetic materials is going to get damaged. Yeah, and understand that the price point is quite high, so you expect something to last forever. But unfortunately, synthetic materials are not that long lasting. Although I know it's really pretty and I cannot find any fault with it, I still understand that it's super expensive. So if I had to pay for it with my own money, I would wait until there's a huge sale. Although I got this gifted, I have to take price into account and I'm only going to give it a 9. I think it would be unfair to go lower than that because, you know, that's the price point and it is what it is. But it is really expensive. I think it's worth it. I think the details and everything make it super unique. But still, it's so pricey that I don't think I can go higher than a 9. Suddenly, that was the end of the haul. I know it was a lot, but you know, these things are really cute, so I wish I got even more. Anyway, I think I was quite happy with almost everything I got, although there were a couple of flops in there. More precisely, one flop, I wasn't happy about the sizing of the harness, and I think that's quite a problem. And I wasn't super excited about this dress on me, but that's something completely subjective and not a flaw with the dress. So let's say there was only one flop today. Again, I got all these things gifted, but not for YouTube. So I'm doing this video just because I think it's fun, not because I got them in exchange for a video. I got this for Instagram and I already posted it there. I just thought it was fun to show you. And maybe if you were planning to get some of these things, you wanted a more in-depth review. As usual, if you have any questions about any of the things I try on in these videos, feel free to ask me in the comments because I make them exactly because I feel like they help people who are planning to buy something and I'm not quite sure if it's what they want or not. I know buying things online can get really difficult and I've experienced that in the past. So since I already have all these things here, I thought it would be useful to just tell you what I think about them in case you were on the verge of getting them or not. Now you can make a more informed decision. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in the comments what was your favorite item. I, there were a couple of things I loved but I think the satin dress is what I'm going to use the most. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!